All right, so it's the holidays. Today is going to be a shorty video, but what I want to talk about today is what to do when you have someone in the booth, whether that's an artist you're working with or it's yourself, and there's a problem with something like a delay or they might say there's an echo in their headphones. <laughs> All right, so you might be familiar with this problem. So in my example here, I'm pretending this track is the track we're recording to. And I run into this all the time with vocals. That's what I tend to be recording the most in my studio with my clients. But basically, the idea is, you know, you have your track queued up, it's ready to go. And you have your headphone mix It's going out. Right now I have a send going out to my headphone mix to channel 34 on my headphones. Um, that's using my hearback headphone system. And basically, the idea is that there's some latency with Pro Tools, right? There's some latency with any kind of software. And due to the latency, the person may sing or perform, do whatever they're doing, and they're going to hear a split second of it afterwards behind their own performance in real time. So they might call it like an echo or a delay. They might know what latency is. They might say there's some latency with their headphones. Either way, no matter what you call it, it's probably the same issue, right? So that's the issue that we're going to be tackling today. Now, I do have videos that came out a while back that are on similar topics. They're kind of like adjacent topic videos. So if you want to check those out, please feel free to check those out. I'll put links to those in the description below, and I'll also put cards up on the screen. So the videos, I believe, are my Pro Tools Basics uh, low latency monitoring video, and then I also have a delay compensation video. So if you want to kind of round out the information, so to speak, please feel free to go check those out. So let's dig right into it. Let's say I'm working with this track, right? I'm recording this track, so I might have it record enabled, ready to go, I'm setting levels, and they might be like, oh, you know, delay issue, echo issue, what have you. One of the first things that I'll do is I'll go to setup and then playback engine, and then I will bring this down, the buffer size down. So the rule here, right, is that if you're tracking, you might want to bring it down, and if you're mixing, you might want to bring it up. And that's because when we're mixing, it takes some time for the computer to process all the algorithms that are in our plugins, right? And so it might need more time to look ahead to get everything together in time. And then when we're tracking, right, we want everything to be more in the moment, right? So we move it lower so it focuses more on the moment that we're in, right? So you might move this down. That's one of the first things I do. And then if there's still a bit of a delay, a bit of an echo, I'll always tell my artists I can I can improve it more. <laughs> if, if you need it to be improved more, just let me know. Because sometimes people won't say anything if they think that you did what you could, right? So you want to make sure they know that you can do more in this situation. But here I have, I've just kind of queued up a few common plugins that we might have on, for example, a vocal, right? So I have Autotune, I have an LA2A plugin, and then I have a reverb, right? So you might have these on the actual track for the recording. And a lot of times our plugins will introduce a lot of latency. And depending on the plugin, certain plugins are worse than others, right? You'll kind of learn as you go which ones tend to be the culprits. Um, Autotune is often the culprit. Um, so what I like to do is I will right click and then make an active. You can also remove these plugins, but this preserves your signal chain. It preserves what you have going and then you can really quickly bring them back. So right click, make active. So again, just to clarify, what you want is to have these inactive while they're recording that will reduce that latency, improve that like delay, that echo effect. And then when they're done, you can really quickly just bring them back in for the mixing phase of what you're working on or, you know, whatever phase you're moving into next. And you can right click if you have right click enabled on your computer or you can use the shortcut, right? So if you hold down control and command and then click, that will activate or deactivate the plugins. So you have to do control and command. And just keep in mind that this is different. Let me do control and command and click on these. This is different than if you hold command and click to bypass the plugin. When the plugins are bypassed, they're still technically on. So they're still technically using resources. They're using computer resources. So they can drag down, drag things down and increase the latency. So what I like to do is leave them not bypassed and control command, click and deactivate them. And this is kind of similar to my understanding. It's kind of similar to when you deactivate a track, right? It's no longer using resources to my understanding. Um, let me know if I'm wrong in the comments below, but that is what I was taught. So yeah, that's basically it. Usually either one of those two things or a combo of those two things is what fixes the problem and makes everything run smoothly. So it's a good tool to have in your toolkit. So with that said, uh, I think that's it. 
So let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'd appreciate all of that stuff. I have a Patreon. We're hanging out on a Discord. We're chatting. We have a book club on the Discord. It's been a lot of fun. I post early release videos, and occasionally I'll post exclusive content on the Patreon feed as well. So if you uh, want to check that out, if you feel so inclined, um, I would really appreciate it. And thank you so much to my Patreon patrons. You help keep this channel running. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you so much for hanging out. Okay. Okay.